Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are still talking love and marriage Huntsville, you guys. It's the gift that keeps on giving, and there's so much fallout from whether or not Phonics Unhooked is fired from the show, because you would think that this is like a no-brainer, right? Because Martel Holt confirmed it, right? And it seemed pretty convincing, and he's one of the producers, right? But then it's like you take some time to reflect and you're like, are they trolling us? Are they trolling us because of the, you know, petition going viral and Carlos King is even in the comments, you know, trolling if Marceau's back needs a petition? <laughs> like, I just, I don't know. Um, the one thing I will say, nonetheless, is it could mean it could be semantics, you guys. It could be semantics that Martell is saying Phonics Unhooked is off the show, meaning she is off the rest of the season of what they are currently filming, the second half of season four. Maybe she has like some sort of a suspension or what have you to where she's not allowed to film the rest of the season, but then is going to be back for season five. Or she's completely gone, gone, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, the hard part about it is it's coming from Martell. And with Martell, it's hit or miss, you guys. But I would think with what everything went down with what was said about Sugar Mama. And then now I'm also reflecting back to remember when Melody had posted, um, you know, that no weapon formed <laughs> against me shall pos prosper. And then she posted the picture of Sugar Mama right after it in her stories. So it kind of makes me feel like maybe that was what happened that day, that maybe it was decided that day that Phonics Unhooked was either suspended or no longer on the show. And now some of you are saying that Phonics Unhooked has unfollowed Carlos King. Now, to be completely transparent and frank with you, I've never followed Phonics Unhooked, so I can't speak to whether or not she's ever followed Carlos King or not in the first place, because I've never monitored, you know, her page like that or who she follows or who she doesn't follow. So I don't know if she ever followed him to begin with or if she did follow him at some point and has now unfollowed him. But I do know for the most part, uh, the entire cast does follow Carlos King. So there is that. But um, let me know what you guys think. Like, there is still a lot of reaction, you guys. A lot of people are torn because of who the source is, you guys. Because this is the same man who has lied on so many other things. So it's hard to take it seriously. But at the same token, you would think since him and Melody Cherie are in a united front when it comes to their children, when it comes to now having what appears to be a better co-parenting relationship that they would have banded together as producers, as executive producers and say, hey, we can't have this on the show. We can't have a situation to where you're taking this fame hungry nonsense to the extreme and now you're involving kids and now we have to go in and protect our kids and risk our freedoms because you're talking reckless, you know, to the world. And I would think if this is true, is that the real reason that Marceau is celebrating on a boat? That he doesn't have to endure his mother-in-law's cheating accusations anymore on camera? Is that is that why he's really celebrating? Like, I, I don't know. Because I don't think he's opposed to his mother-in-law being off the show. That gives him a breather. Right? So, I don't know. It's just a lot to unpack, you guys. But... Either way, I still feel that the petition was impactful. Those of you who contacted the network was impactful. And ultimately, I don't think that Carlos would risk his show and risk the ratings to, you know, continue to entertain somebody of the likes of Phonics Unhooked, right? If she's going to continue to go off the rails, right? If she's not going to stay within the cons constructs of what reality TV is supposed to be, right? So it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about. And the thing is, we really won't know until a few months from now when the episode airs. So 
on one end, it's good because it's going to keep people talking. It's going to keep the speculation. It's going to keep people still discussing Love and Marriage Huntsville. And then there's people who, you know, again, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know what to make of it. And it's funny seeing some of the reactions because the people who are not plugged into the social media drama, who only watch the show and have no idea what is happening outside of the show of all of the social media shenanigans, they're completely shook because they have no idea what's happening. And they're losing their minds, you guys. <laughs> they're losing their minds. But again, hopefully, you know, we can find out soon enough if this is true. And um, and there is that. But again, I could also see a situation where we are also being trolled and <laughs> we may see her um, when it's all said and done season five or something along those lines. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we'll just continue to monitor it. We'll continue to see what happens. I feel like, you know, she posted a quote that kind of made it seem like she was confirming that she was off the show. So I don't know, you guys. I don't know. We'll just have to keep on, you know, seeing or whatever, because it's, it's a lot of mixed reactions, you guys. It's like there's a lot of people who are happy about this. But then, like, the five or ten people who are upset about it, it's like they're really making it, they want to make it known, like, hey, this is not okay. <laughs> and it's like, wait, what? So, I don't know. We'll just have to monitor it, you guys. Because I believe last I checked, it was, like, over 5,000 signatures of the petition, you guys. So, you guys did that. You guys definitely did that. But we'll have to see because of who the source is, you guys. Now, if Melody Cherie said it, if she just said, hey, Phonics Unhooked is gone, y'all, I would have been like, oh, OK, bet. But I really don't know <laughs> because Martel, sometimes you don't know when he's being serious or when he's trolling you. And and that's why so many people get caught up in his madness, because you never know what you're getting with him. So we'll continue to see what takes place, you guys. We'll continue to see what takes place. Uh, but there is that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think that Martel possibly is trolling? Do you think that Phonics Unhooked is removed from Love and Marriage Huntsville for good? Do you think that she is removed for the rest of the season and will be back the following season? What do you guys think of this? Please let me know in the comments. And did she really unfollow Carlos King? Was she ever following Carlos King to begin with, you guys? Please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post some content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.